are your leaders having conflict correctly? There's two assumptions here. First, they should be having conflict. And that could be controversial for some people. I mean, conflict has a bad rap for a lot of very good reasons. But it's been proven out by Patrick Lencioni and loads of research that strong, healthy, high-performing leadership teams have conflict. It's easy to understand why. When they're driving for the best solution for the company and to make the greatest decisions, they're going to have differences of opinion that have to get worked out. The second assumption is it can be done correctly. One of the ways to get there is to set yourself some common ground rules. Brainstorm it with the team. What's acceptable, what's not? A couple suggestions. Everybody participates. That's gonna be difficult for the people who are introverts or have harmony in their top five, but everyone is required to make a contribution. Second, no personal attacks. This is solution oriented. Third, don't let it just become a problem commiserating session drive for a solution. I see teams muster up the courage to throw a problem on the table, but don't follow through to some sort of resolution in the meeting. You gotta build trust as a prerequisite to do this, but set yourself some ground rules and watch what that will do to your next discussion. We hope this was helpful in making you a more purposeful leader.